July 20th, 1969. We all know the day. The day three men set out to put two human legs on the surface of the moon for the first time ever. Now we know that day as a great, great day, but today we're not going to talk about that. That's been talked to death. Everybody knows what happened. Feet set on the moon. Guy walked. Great. It was amazing, but I would like to, to sort of zoom in on and explore all the days that led up to that one great moment. Because those days were pretty special too, and well, our fellow Canadians really helped to define those days and, of course, that one incredible moment. Two guys, James Chamberlain and Owen Maynard, two vital, vital pieces in the Apollo program, and they're kind of going to be the topic for this video, and one surprised guest that I'm going to save for later on. Both of these guys were U of T graduates, and they went on to make some pretty vital contributions to the Apollo program that, let's be honest here, without these two guys, the Apollo program probably wouldn't have worked out. I mean, let's be honest here, and you'll find out why in just a moment. You probably haven't heard these two guys' names before, but trust me, after this video, you'll really get to appreciate our fellow Canadians. James Chamberlain, let's start with him. He did some pretty big things even before he got into the Apollo program. First things first, he worked on Project Mercury, which was the first manned mission that NASA ever sent to space, in case you didn't know that. It's okay, I didn't know either before researching this stuff, it's all right. He also worked on Project Gemini, another big and very, very famous project that preceded Apollo. Now let's scoot the timeline up to the Apollo program. What did James Chamberlain actually do on the Apollo program. Many, many things. One of his most important contributions, one of those vital project changing contributions, he was one of the guys who first had the idea, hey, maybe it's not a good idea to fly directly from Earth right onto the surface of the moon. It's probably not going to work out. And so he and a few other guys who kind of were thinking the same thing came up with this thing called a lunar orbit rendezvous. So James Chamberlain already scored a big one for us Canadians. Now let's move on to his good buddy, Owen Maynard. I don't know if they were actually friends, but whatever. They're Canadians. We're all buddies here. I've got a question for you, dear viewer. What does the title Chief Engineer mean to you? To me, it means one of the smartest dudes, one of the best with tactile, actual mechanical work, basically the brains of the mechanical operation. Well, that's what Owen Maynard was. That's right. He was the chief engineer or the head systems engineer something or other. Basically, he was the chief engineer. So get this. A fellow Canadian did these two awesome things. Mr. Owen Maynard right here was the guy who came up with some of the early designs for the actual command module, that thing that was orbiting the Earth or the Earth, good God. The moon waiting for Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin to go up and down, whatever they had to do. The Lunar Command Module, a pretty important part, because that's how Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin got down to the surface from there and got back up and got back home. And my boy Maynard also happened to engineer or design, basically, the lunar landing legs, those spider-like legs that actually touched down on the moon Mind you, before Neil Armstrong's legs did. That's right, Canadian legs first on the moon, man. That's what I'm talking about. And he designed that stuff. That's right, he designed it. If you really want to break it down, think about it like this. Jim Chamberlain was the guy who was sort of the, the thinker. He helped with Project Mercury and Gemini, so he kind of helped us to learn from our mistakes. When Maynard, then what did he do? He came, took that knowledge, and all the other collective knowledge that NASA and others have learned, and actually designed some of the most important parts of the Apollo mission, the actual ship. But our surprise guest really sort of brought this all to life. Heru Dev Tech, or Heru Machine Parts Limited, I think as they were officially called, uh, they were actually the manufacturers of these legs. These legs, if you didn't know, came down from that cool little command module onto the surface of the moon, and then were actually part of the platform that helped Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin blast off from the moon, get back to their command module, 
and fly right back to home and heroics. And that right there is it, dear friends. That's right. Canadians were all over that American Apollo project. Nothing against our US people, friend, brother, and sister, and whatever. But I mean, come on. That's a pretty cool Canadian achievement, you gotta admit. Thank you all for watching so very, very much, and stay tuned. If that really brought some pride up in your chest, you just wait till next episode, my friend. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. Make everyone you know aware. Thank you for watching.